If you are a fan of softball, you are going to love the Fast Pitch TV show. From softballjunk.com, we're bringing you more softball than anyone on the planet. Sit back and get ready. Here's the Fast Pitch TV show. Hello, I'm Gary Leland, and this is the Fast Pitch TV Show. Make sure you take a look at my website, on my videos, blogs, and everything I do at fastpitch.tv. The Fast Pitch TV website brings you more free softball content than anyone on the planet. Now, in today's show, I'm um, interviewing softball legend Mike Condrea. I really enjoyed meeting Coach Condrea. It was a great interview. I, I really had a blast. Let's go watch the interview right after this short message. Oops, sorry, I was reading this month's issue of the Fast Pitch Magazine. What? You're not familiar with the Fast Pitch Magazine? Watch this, you are going to love it. Looks great, right? Want to find more about the number one coaching tool on the internet? Go to fastpitchmagazine.com today. Coach, thanks for joining me. I really appreciate this. I'm kind of honored to be around you. You are one of the greatest coaches of all times in my book, and thanks for joining me. Well, thank you for having me. Yeah, so I want to start and go back kind of to the beginning of softball. How did you get involved with coaching softball? Well, Gary, actually it was uh, kind of a... Um, uh, it, an accident, you know. Um, I was a baseball coach uh, at the junior college level and uh, was coaching baseball, won a national championship in 1976, uh, first uh, junior college championship. And uh, I was an assistant coach in, on that staff. And I remember George Young, uh, who was the athletic director at the time, came in and said, Mike, I need some help. And I go, what's that? He goes, would you consider taking over the women's softball program for a year? And I said, well, dang. I said, you know, I'll do it for a year. I, I, I don't know if I really want to coach women. Um, you know, I like baseball. And I said, but you know what? Maybe it'll give me a chance to call my own shots and see what I can do. And so I took, took the program over. And um, after that year, I kind of fell in love with the, um, the, the female athlete, you know, the, the lack of the ego, the, um, the passion uh, that they had, the emotions that you could turn into a positive. And, um, so we, we had a pretty decent year the first year. Uh, not great, but I, I was looking at it and I'm going, you know, what if I found a pitcher? We can win this thing, you know, and I kind of got hooked. And so I went out and I recruited a pitcher. Uh, the pitcher happened to be Connie Clark, who is now the head oh, coach at the University of Texas. She's in a tournament this weekend. Yes. You. And, um, and so uh, Connie was my very first uh, pitching recruit, and we won back-to-back -back national championships, and then... Uh, went on to Arizona, and that was kind of the way it, I got into softball. Well, speaking of uh, national championships, I mean, I don't really know the exact stats, but I know you've made 24 appearances. Mm -hmm. That's got to be pretty close to the record for the number of times someone's made it there. Yeah, I, I don't know what the records are. You know, yeah. I mean, um, at, at my age right now, you take it one day at a time and, and uh, enjoy every day, but um, it has been a, a very blessed um, career for me. Um, love what I do. Um, and uh, I always tell people I've never worked a day in my life because I'm doing what I truly have a passion for. And so as long as I get up every morning and I have that passion, have that energy, because we all know in this day and age, coaching uh, takes a tremendous amount of energy to, to keep these kids motivated. Um, uh, you, you know, we always talk about how kids have changed over the last 10 years. And, and um, I could probably be one that could sit in a circle and say, you know what, they have changed, and, and so you kind of have a choice as a coach to either change with them uh, or, or kind of be left behind. And um, so I'm kind of in that transition right now, you know, trying to figure out what it takes to, to get today's athlete to, to make a total commitment to the sport and to excellence and um, to find the right balance of um, um, trying to get them to do the little things that it takes to be successful. 
Now, you just said that there's a lot of changes, and there are always is changes. Mm -hmm. Is there any change now, though, that you'd say, eh, this is like a big change to me that I see now in athletes compared to 15 years ago? Well, I think the change, if I look at a change right now, I think it's just the way kids are brought up. Um, uh, and, and you don't have to look very far other than to their experiences in travel ball. You know, I mean, uh, I remember playing three sports. Um, today, there's a lot of specialization uh, going on. And, um, you know, I always played football, basketball, and baseball. And I think every kid kind of grew up playing, right. you know, two or three different sports. Um, in today's world, kids are, are, are uh, definitely specializing in a sport very early. You look at recruiting. Um, huge change. Um, you know, I t 10, 12 years ago, kids would make a decision on their five schools, their junior year in college and in, in high school, and, then, and then, then take their official visit, decide where they're going to go their senior year. Today, we're... Um, you know, entertaining eighth graders on our campus and <laughs> kids that don't even know where they're going to high school, but they're making their college decisions. That's so a change. that's a change. That's a big change for me. And, and, um, you know, I just think the way, um, you know, I never pl uh, had to pay to play. Um, and I know a lot of kids and parents are making huge investments in their, um, opportunities and travel ball or whatever it may be. And for some, you know, it has paid off and they, they may get that college education, but, um, paid for but uh, for lots of them they're they're paying a lot of money and not getting that and so um, trying to find that balance as to you know are we really still doing a good job developing um, athletes um, developing young ladies right. because the one thing about our sport there's life after softball and to me that's probably my biggest um, concern uh, in today's world is making sure that they're prepared for life after softball because it's going to come to an end so I used to think I coached them for four years and they would leave me, but really you coach them for a lifetime. They never leave you. No, and you're right because I have talked to so – I've interviewed so <laughs> many of your players, and they all still are your players. Oh. I mean, I've talked to so many who say such great things right. about you, and they tell me stories about uh, playing for you. And Well, you know, you, you, you hope that that's the way it ends because truthfully that's – I think when you think about coaching – it is about relationships, and it's about relationships that are built for, for the long haul, not just for the short haul. And so um, I hope that, um, you know, I've had the opportunity to, 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 to help young people and maybe change their lives or, or make an impact in their lives. Um, but more importantly, they've given me so much. Um, uh, you know, I've been blessed to, 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 to coach a sport that I've had a chance to watch it grow. Um, you know, you think back when I got in it in 85, um, you know, we had one game on television, and now um, you look at the, the growth of the sport. Um, the Olympic Games weren't even around back then, and then in 96 we get in the Olympics, and unfortunately we're fighting right now to get back into it, which I think hopefully we will. Well, I hope I see you there. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, it's, it's been great to, to, to be a part of the sport and, and, um, and watch it grow uh, and watch it, to continue to grow and then to see you know players that you've had a chance to coach now making an impact in the game you know like a Jenny Finch and a Michelle Smith and people like that that have um, truly uh, have become great ambassadors for I think a wonderful sport I think it's um, unfortunate that we're we're trying to get back in the, the Olympic Games but I think the Olympic Games uh, is a big part of softball and 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 having that dream for young kids to be able to continue to play the sport because I was fortunate enough to see our very best players play the game at 27, 28 years old. And what I'm scared of is it'll be back in the day when we never got a chance to see that. Kids would quit playing softball at the age of 20, 21. Um, and truthfully, if you think about it, you know, the average major leaguer, I, you know, you, you think about what their age is, probably 27, 28, 29. Right. You know, you have it physically, you, you have it mentally, you have it emotionally, and you get a chance to really perfect um, the sport that you're never going to perfect, but get as close as you can to it. And in 2004, to watch that team uh, compete in Athens, um, I thought it was probably as close to watching the very best um, softball performance I've ever seen in my life. I was going to say, I think that's probably the best softball team ever put together. I mean, y'all had one run scored against you yeah. in the final game. Absolutely. I mean, I, I really think, you know, that's, I, I don't have much stuff from softball memorabilia, but I do have a helmet 
by that entire team because I think that's the best team ever put together. Absolutely, and, and it was. And, you know, when I look back at those those players today and, and uh, how successful they are right now still in the game and um, um, how much they've given back to the sport, um, I think it it just humbles me to have been a part of that. And, and then to also have gone through, you know, probably one of the highest moments of my life, um, I'm watching that gold medal ceremony in, in Athens, but I'm also um, losing my wife during the Olympic tour uh, prior to those games. And, and uh, I, I kind of realized then the, the impact that softball really has had on my life. Um, sometimes you don't really know it, uh, you know, until, you know, you always say to yourself, you, you wonder who's going to be at your, your, your celebration of life, right. you know, and what people would say about you. But, you know, I got a chance to see the, the uh, outpour from not only in the state of Arizona, but the, the United States of America in the world. Um, it was a huge web that you create being in the sport of softball. You don't realize it. And so that really kind of helped me get through a very tough time in my life. Um, and so I... I always look back at the sport and and feel that I'm I'm a steward of what I do today. You know, this game's going to go on for a lot longer than I will, but um, I, I just feel really good that I've had a chance to to watch it from the ground up in my eyes uh, and watch it grow and and um, just watch some marvelous young people play this game and 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 then give back to the game. Well, you are a true legend of the game. I can tell you right that right now. And I was talking to Leah this summer and she was telling me stories of playing with you and she made me laugh oh. so much she loves you so much she's, uh, well you know leah amico is um yeah she's she's definitely um a, a young lady that 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 came to our program that understood the word balance and she had she's always had great balance in her life um and she has been the one that really um, um i've kind of leaned on through some tough times because of because of our faith and she um, has a strong faith. A yeah. very strong faith, and, and as I do. And, and um, you know, it's, it's marvelous that um, you have a chance to, to help a young lady grow in the sport, yet at the end of the day, that young lady is helping you, you know, in life. And it's kind of like watching your, your parents. You know, you, you know you, you, your parents um, allow you to do things and allow you to grow, and then someday you're going to be, it kind of reverses where you're kind of taking care of that mom and dad. And um, so there's a lot of life lessons that come into this sport that, that I think sometimes we don't take the time to, to um, make kids understand. You know, this sport teaches you a lot. And uh, it's more than just the, the game itself. The game goes way beyond the field. Um, but um, it's, it's been a blessing for me to do what I do. Well, I appreciate you taking these few minutes to talk with me. This you is know. quite an honor. And for everybody out there, this man is a legend. Thanks, Mike. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Take care. Do you need a softball bat? Do you want to save $30? Softballjunk.com is offering an additional $30 discount off the price of all non-sale softball bats on their website. That's right, $30. So the next time you buy a bat, go to softballjunk.com and enter the code FPTV30 during checkout. And wham, you just put a cool $30 in your pocket. Welcome back. Now that last short commercial featured my daughter, Amanda. That's right, that was my daughter and she was telling you about my website, softballjunk.com. Now I ask, if you enjoy this content, all the free content I bring you week after week for over 10 years now, please visit my website, softballjunk.com, the next time you need softball equipment. If I am competitive in price, which I know I'm going to be, please show your support for all the stuff I, information I bring you by purchasing your softball equipment from me. I hope you enjoyed today's show. Make sure to come back and watch future shows because they're going to be coming up all the time. And please tell your friends about the Fast Pitch TV show. Make sure now you go and take a look at the website, fastpitch.tv, to keep up with all the future episodes of the show. And that's www.fastpitch.tv. There's no .com, okay? So until next time, this is your host, Gary Leland, saying goodbye and thanks for watching. This show is a member of the Fast Pitch TV Network. 
see all of our shows and blogs at www.fastpitch.tv. 